Alright, Libras. So, here we go. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. Ooh. Hmm. All right, Libras. What is going on emotion-wise? Two of Swords. So you have decisions to make. Um, de definite decisions to make. So um, it's mirrored in the moon. There's two what looks like bats. So, And then it's mirrored down here with the little critters that are around her. So you have decisions big decisions to make. Things may be clearing up for you, so you already know what kind of decisions. So, Divinity, Selene, the goddess of the moon, literally is bestowing upon you different, you know, ideas or options or helping you, guiding you. Nature spirits as well. Maybe a cat companion, animal companions, animal um, communication, big time helping with, you know, maybe even mental anguish. So that's a very good thing. Um, she kind of looks a little mm, down. I'm kind of sensing that with all the signs this month. Kind of down and out. But I do sense a lot to do with the animals. Especially with the Two of Swords and decision making. So, which way are you going to go? Which way are you going to go? So don't fall off into the water. Keep yourself, you know, grounded. Alright, now we have the world. Another really good card. So, every card in the tarot is integrated into the world card. So, alright Libra. Let's see. A lot of change. A lot of change happening. Um, a spiritual realization. Breakthroughs. Um, a really rare, uh, realizing your inner divinity. That spark within. So I feel like you guys are really manifesting good things in your life. Everything is coming pretty much at the right time. So you guys are feeling like maybe you are in the right place at the right time. So it's not, you know, wrong place, wrong time. Everything's actually going really well. So you do have you know, the lion, the bull, you have the magician, and then you have, you know, right here, um, the bird, or the eagle, and we have the shepherd's crook, and we have divine balance. So a masculine and feminine balance of the male and energy, male and female energy within our bodies. So, big changes for you guys. Very good, though. Very good changes. So, it may, you guys may be realizing, you know, after you take your, your Two of Swords, the choice that you're going to make. Uh, that represents the world, coming to the world. More powerful, um, divine passion, physical passion, love. All kinds of just really, really good stuff for you guys. Hmm. Mental stability, emotional stability, just stability in all aspects of your life. All right now we have the star card. Another very good card. And this reminds me very much of the Two of Swords. So, what we have here is the star. So, she is very careful. She's stirring the waters. So, um, are you guys stirring the waters for change? Or the emotional waters? Uh, um, I kind of sense maybe that there are uh, relationship games or problems that could possibly happen. Um, this represents, you know, we have the star, the uh, Magdan star, which is the star of David. So that is shining down. 
her companion, the th obviously the flamingo. So this really represents more of you realizing your inner divinity. So you're realizing and waking up and seeing divinity within the world, within nature, within all of us, within animal companions. And I still kind of feel like it is the animal companion that is really helping, really helping either with the, you know, emotional distress. Um, I know a lot of people these days are really turning to, you know, animal, uh, service animals. So is that something in, in that area that you guys might be doing? But definitely, definitely a big change. Not too much, but enough. Just enough. So it's really good. So you guys are just, I mean, manifesting and, you know, the realm of miracles. Miracles. So you guys are really good good off this month. Kind of jealous. <sighs> Prince of Wands. Alright, so you guys are guarded. Uh, you guys know you have that divinity within you. So you're guarding that. You guard that. You hold your shield up. So yeah, you're not going to let anybody take that away from you. You're not going to let anybody steer you in the wrong direction. Your intellect. Your intellect is like very quick, very sharp. So don't let anybody even if it's somebody that's trying to help you and if you feel it's not for your greater good no say no so all right now we have the nine of cups all right so what is going on with love anything going on with love are we searching for love have we found love um or are we just in this giant emotional bubble with you know uh Obviously, they're about to explode. Hmm. So the nine, going into the nine of cups, that would definitely show me possible marriages coming, possible relationships, uh, engagement, a definite engagement, um, abstinence too, waiting to get married, you know, putting yourself off, saving yourself for that right person, or either saving yourself for divinity, for the divine. So it could represent your yearning for connection with uh, God, Goddess, Source, Spirit. So very, very good. Very good for you guys, Libra. I'm very jealous of you guys right now. Those are very good cards. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I hope you enjoy. I love you all, and I will see you soon.